Hey everyone, it's Judy. Welcome back to Rose Lane. All right. Um, first, one quick recap. Um, if I can find it here. This for me is Sunday night the 13th. Um, but this video will air on Saturday the 19th. Um, so you would have, if you have been watching, seen on Wednesday the video where I announced the giveaway for the 3000 subby giveaway. So I just want to recap that again in case some of you, let me make sure that's in, it is, uh, if some of you didn't see this past Wednesday's video. It seems so weird talking in past tense when I haven't gotten there yet. It's like time travel. Um, so just real quick, again, a great big thank you to everybody who has been subscribing. I'm not going to cry this time. Um, and just a, re a quick recap of the rules. Um, I, need, I would need you to subscribe to the video before this one. I'm trying to think of what I was doing in it. Oh, yeah. Um, that was... Let me pull it out. I can't remember what I called it. <laughs> I called it something, but that was this one. Okay. Uh, whatever that one was. Um, that one would have aired on Wednesday the 16th. Um, so I would need you to leave your comments. Subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment in that video. From Wednesday the 16th uh, with the with the centerfold that I just uh, showed you the center um, spread that I just showed you leave a comment in that video telling me which of my projects that you've watched on my you know which videos on my projects that you've watched have been your favorite so far favorite or favorites um, and then share my channel link with someone else and name them in your comments. And sometimes you may share my channel link with somebody who's already subscribed, and that's okay. Um, I just, you know, kind of want to continue to get the word out as much as I possibly can. So that is the recap. If you want a little bit more detail, just go back to Wednesday the 16th video that aired on the 16th, and um, you can get this all again. Okay? I didn't want to take too much time with that. All right, I now have five center spreads for the five signatures in the Olivia Journal. That being said, one of them was this heart one, and I am working on this to try to make it easier to get in and out. I think I have a solution, but I'll do that off camera, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna worry about that side of the page today. What we're gonna do, because I didn't know that, I, I didn't really want to put this on the other side, I just, I don't know it just didn't feel right to me so I didn't know what I was gonna do but I've come up with something that I think I will be happy with um, I hope <laughs> um, there have been some videos out couple or three videos out uh, by a couple of ladies um, and offhand I can't remember the names uh, where I had heard them but they are talking about these accordion belly belly bands where they kind of make the paper folded back and forth like I've done in some of my other things, but somehow they would attach the belly band so that it would pick up and go this way and you could write and then you could put the belly band back down. I'm not sure how, because they made the belly bands, but I'm not sure how they actually attached them to the page because I watched two videos and they didn't do that in the video, so I'm not sure. So, and my brain couldn't get around that <laughs> apparently. So, um, I decided that I would just come up with something similar but different. So that's what we're going to work on here. And yes, there will be more. We know we've got some hidden spots in here. There's going to be more kind of hidden things in here as well. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to get started. And what we're going to do here is I've got three, and they're all paper clipped together because I haven't put them together yet. Um, I've got three belly bands, okay? And I have scored them at a half inch, okay? and folded them up, each one, two at the top and one at the bottom. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take these little bits and pieces. Well, you know what, let's put them together first. Okay, I had a little strip, oh, stuff. here it is, okay. Let's start, this is gonna be the bottom one, okay? 
And what I did was I just made a little pocket, and I'm going to move this out of the way. We'll put that on or worry about that later. Let me put that up here. Okay, so this is going to be the bottom strip. And I only backed my copy paper with copy paper. And that's because there was going to be three layers and plus there's going to be stuff on each layer. So I didn't want it super, super thick. Uh, and the cardstock would have only made it thicker. So the idea is this, that each one of these will flip. And when you flip it, you have journaling space on the back. Okay. And then you have whatever is on the front. So we're going to go ahead. I made this little pocket. I folded it back to reinforce it. And then I put a little strip of the polka dot so that we brought the polka dot in from the other side of the page. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and glue this down right against the side here. That is my plan. So let's go ahead here. Now, I don't think I made this tag to fit in. I'm not sure, again, I came across some paper and I probably, it was probably meant to be like a side tuck or something in somebody's kit. Um, and I printed a whole bunch of them on the page so that I would have a whole bunch, which is this. Um, it looks like it was like a wallpaper border or something like that or whatever it was. I'm not sure. It could have been, it could have been, <laughs> it could have been that from somebody's kit with the wallpaper um, bits in them. It wasn't marked and I apologize. And if I ever run across it, um, I will let you know if anybody who's watching the video um, knows what it is, I'd be more than happy to, uh, you know, if it's your digital or if you know what the digital, you know, where it came from, um, I would be more than happy to, um, alter my description box and put it in there. Okay. What I should have done was done this first. This I made myself. This is a little, um, uh, bits and pieces, you know, little floral things here. And I just put them end to end. I flipped them one way and the other, put them end to end and made a little strip that's going to go here. Okay. I think I've got the spot where I want to do it. I can always fold that back. So let's go ahead and I'm going to use the other glue. And I already made the tag for this. It's already inked and, and backed on card. Um, I'm going from where? I don't know. I think I'm going from the bottom here. Okay, let's go bottom up. Okay. So once, oh, this doesn't want to come out. Once I'm through, um, so like again, by the time this airs on Saturday, I'll have been working this whole week previously on the B journal for the giveaway. Um, so I can get that done and ready for Sunday's drawing. So that will be when the drawing takes place. Uh, you just follow those instructions. I will pull everybody's name out of the comments on that video. Um, oops, I went too far. I know I don't need all that glued up there. I just wasn't sure where it was going to, where I was going to need it to end exactly. Um, so I'm wondering, do I want to put it right up against, or do I want, no, I think I'm going to leave a little bit, leave a little bit of space. Let's leave the space. Okay, how are we looking here? Pretty straight? I would think that's not too bad. And then I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to do this with my scissors if I can. I'll just kind of fold this back. And hopefully go right along the top. Hey, that wasn't bad. A little glue up here, which I can rub off. Um, so I will just go through those comments and write down everybody's name. Um, I'll either tear them apart and put them in a bowl, or I guess I could just kind of go online and find a random number picker, <laughs> I suppose. Um, and you know, just count up how many, uh, how many are there and do that. I don't know. We'll have to see something like that though. All right. 
Okay, so that is our bottom flap. This is our middle flap. And our middle flap is going to open this way. So let me try to carefully get the paper clip off. And what I did here, this is just another, um, what do you call it? And what I needed was another flower, which I probably do not have. One cut. Um, hmm. I probably have some somewhere, but they're not in here. So I may have to do a quick fussy cutting on this one. Um, need, I need, I need, I'm looking through my stuff here. Uh, no, don't want that one. These are just all the papers that I've printed with butterflies and flowers on them in this folder. Um, Trying to see. Ooh, one of these would be good. All right, let's see here. Um, I think these are too wide, so I'm going to have to go for a smaller one. So let's go ahead. And I do apologize for having to fussy cut this out, but I really would like to try to get all of this done. If I'm going to fussy cut, I might as well let you watch <laughs> a little bit going around these tiny little steps. Oh, you know what? I always forget to do this. I like to go over because I do it on white paper. If I did on tea dyed paper, it would be different, but I always do it on just the white paper. Maybe someday. So I just take my brush with my uh, antique velvet antique velvet, antique linen, <laughs> and go over the whole thing. So if there's ever a place where I really can't get into, um, that, you know, so the paper would still be white, it's not really white. I kind of tint it down a little bit. So let's try to get back to this. And we can go this way. I just cut that off again. You know what? I'm not worried about those. Let's just go ahead and cut those off. I'm not going to worry about those stems today. Does not matter. So anyway, I'm hoping everybody is doing well and enjoying their week. I am praying. It seems there's been some more uh, restrictions lifted as far as COVID is concerned, um, which I'm very happy for. Of course, that's happened before. Um, and then we get another, you know, influx of it, and then we have to start again. Um, there are people walking around all over upstairs. And like I said, we have no carpeting. Our, our floors are hardwood. And uh, so you, and it's an older house. I think it was probably built in like the early 50s, I would think. And, uh, which really shouldn't sound old to me, but <laughs> it is. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, when you think about it, it's like heading towards, you know, some like 65, 70 years old. And no offense to anybody out there who's 65 or 70 years old. I'm not calling you old, but for a house that's considered an older house, it's not new construction anymore. And, yeah, so we're a little creaky. I, you know, well, I'm over 60 and I'm a little creaky too, so I guess it kind of applies. But, uh, yeah. So anyway, without the, um, without any carpeting, you hear every footstep, every scuff. You hear my dog walking, his, you know, his nails on the wood floor and stuff. There's nothing, um, muted or silenced in any way. So when you're down here, you hear everything. I can hear their phone conversations. I can hear the TV when they're watching. I can hear everything because there's nothing muffling the sounds. So, but anyhow, I'm going to cut that one off, which is something I've been doing. This is supposed to be, I don't know, like maybe some sort of plumy, it's kind of, you know, long stemmed filler flower, but of course it doesn't translate well onto paper. 
Um, so I don't try to get all of them. Some of them is okay because the color is nice. But uh, this is what I'm going to go cut all this out and go all the way down to the flower. Yeah. So, and you know, a lot of these things, I don't cut them exactly the same. Well, obviously, you can't cut them exactly the same. But sometimes there's like really smooth leaves or, you know, something like that. And I might just jiggle this back and forth like I'm doing here for the edge of the roses. Sometimes the rose has got a smooth edge and I might jiggle it back and forth and give it sort of a serrated, serrated feel. I can do it here on this leaf. And sometimes it's not noticeable. Um, sometimes it is. If, if like the leaf is big enough or the petal is big enough, especially if something's, you know, a bigger size and not a small size like this. Um, it just makes it look so much more realistic and gives it so much more dimension. Um, you know, so it's kind of neat. Let me get rid of these guys. And I'm almost there. I do apologize again for not, I, I think I've got all my bits and pieces and I've got bits and pieces over here that I probably won't use, which is kind of funny. Um, I think I'll leave those. I will leave those. Because um, I wasn't sure about the tag. And the tag, though, um, the belly band is unexpected. Um, you know, not your traditional belly band when it, it's going to flip and open. And probably what I'm going to do is just put a little piece of Velcro on the bottom um, to help kind of keep it down. And I will show you that. I've got those, I think they're like quarter inch uh, Velcro dots. But and I'm going to go ahead and cut that stem right off because we don't have the other ones. Okay, a little bit of ink around the edges because sometimes it just sharpens it if you get it in the right spot. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this, we'll work it so that it goes, and it's just going to go right there. Nothing fancy about that one. So we'll do that with this. If I can get my glue out. I closed it. I did. And it's still, I just think it's probably time to change the tip on this. I bought, I think it was like 10 bottles or something, 10 of these little bottles, like, I don't know, two years ago or something, two, you know, about two, two and a half years ago. I can't believe, you know, I, I still feel like I've just started, you know, that I'm just starting out in this, but I think the first time I made a journal, like I said, was for a swap in, I think it might have been, I don't know if it was Junk Journal Junkies or I can't remember who it was for exactly. Um, I'm just going to put it up a little higher than center. Um, so that was, let's see, I have to count backwards. <laughs> um, all right. Okay, so this is gonna be, go. that's gonna go under the belly band. What this is, and this is a paint to tie. This is a, uh, I'll go back to that story in a minute. This is a facsimile of a bigger belly band that I usually do, which I tie with a ribbon, and then I open it here, and normally what I do is I put the ribbon through here, and then I take another piece of paper, lately just tea dye paper, a little bit smaller, fold that and stick it under there. So you have this to write on and then you have that, but that wasn't necessary for this right now. So all I did was glue the ribbon down to the back right there. So that's what that is. And I'm not gonna worry about trying to tie this until I glue it down because it's too hard to hold this still. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down and all I'm gonna do is top and bottom right here, try to keep this out of the way. This ribbon is only four millimeters, which is like, I don't know, an eighth of an inch or something like that, give or take. Um, and 
it's silk. It's meant for uh, ribbon embroidery, so it's silk ribbon, so it's it's very fine. You can barely feel it. And um, I just want to make sure that I get that where I want it. All right, that's good enough, I think. I think we're centered. I hope we're centered. It looks centered to me until I look at it later and then go, oh, you know what? It wasn't. So, and then I'm just going to slide this under the belly band right there. And I'm going to try to tie this. Actually, let me put something a little heavier at the top to help me. But I can barely feel it, like, to grab it. <laughs> right now, there's static. Um, because of all the cold air and the dry heat and this is just picking up the static like crazy and I'm having a hard time holding on to it I'm having a hard time putting it where I want it to go and grabbing it and it's just it's insane but there it worked okay so that's good so that's all that this one's gonna be okay and then that one's gonna go on top of that this one has got a little bit more to it, just a little bit of something, because it was going to be the front. So I have these two pockets, okay? So I have this long kind of bookmark, and then I have another pocket that sits on top of this. Did just a little bit of collage. I tore some uh, collage paper apart and put a couple little pieces here and then put the flower over it. And then I'm leaving these plain. I mean, I may go back and put a little lace tab or something on it, but it's just going to depend on how thick it feels to me. So I'm not going to do that yet. So I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to glue this pocket down and then we'll put the little one on top of it and then I will glue it to the paper and then we will work on the tag. So this isn't exactly secret spots per se, just unexpected spots. They're easy to find, um, so slightly hidden and a little unexpected. Um, the other ones are gonna be a little more hidden because they're gonna be right in the tag um, that goes under this whole belly band itself. So we're gonna go ahead and I think put that right about there. I'm trying to use the stripes to uh, guide me here. So we'll do that. And I'm just gonna push a little in like I normally do to give that little bit of a, a little bit of a curve to it. So it makes it a little easier to get the tag in and out, <clears throat> excuse me. And then we're gonna go ahead and do this. So yeah, I made all of these ahead. So, um, and you know, I said I'll get back to that story in a minute. Now it's gone out of my head. Don't know what the story was. Maybe I'll think of it <laughs> uh, sometime during the rest of this video. If not, and you know what it was, um, or if I watch the video later, I will try to remember and finish it in another video. I don't know, we'll see. So anyhow, so just push that in just that little bit and go there. And that makes those, I want to just put this in carefully because I don't want to catch on the glue. Okay, so that one goes in there. So you can see, oh, I don't want to go too low. Um, you know, it's not fat, but when you put three of them on top of each other, it gets a little, it's a little thick. All right, let's move this stuff over. Let's bring the page back and we're going to get started here. So the first thing we're going to do, um, I think you can still see the page, though I will pull it over. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this middle one out and we're going to take these two flaps, okay, and we're going to glue them together, okay? And what we want to do is make it, of course, so that this one will also flip up. So we want to fold it. You don't want to put it right on the fold because then it won't 
flip, if that makes sense. So I folded it and then I am just going to go ahead and you can see where the fold line is. Let's see if you can see. Here's, here's the fold line and here's the top of the next pocket. So there's that little bit of a gap that allows it to um, flip up. So I want to make sure it's straight. Okay, from side to side that nothing's hanging out or terribly crooked. Okay, and I'm just going to hold that flap and I'm going to go ahead and glue here. So, okay, and we'll just go ahead and do that. All right. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue this onto the paper. It's going to go right top to bottom, okay? Well, you're probably not seeing that. So right from the top to the bottom, and I want it offset. I don't want it right down the center of the page. I just want it offset some, okay? Just like that. And I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm going to just trim this little extra piece because of the, um, you know, not lining the folds up so that it would flip. That's how much space we took. So I had that much extra at the top. So we'll take that off. I will find my anchor and just ink across the top of that. And we're gonna go ahead, and if you don't mind, <clears throat> I'm gonna turn this around so that I can line it up with the top of the page where I want it to be. And it's just a hair off, but not much. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna, I might as well do it with this and I'm gonna fold this so that I can see where, you can't see where I am, <laughs> but all right. I'll just have to leave it like this. I want to use the um, art glitter glue. I'm careful um, <clears throat> because it dries a little quicker. A piece of glue on my fingers. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I think I want it about there. And it's just a hair short. Okay, and we're going to this around while I've got a minute because I want to make sure it is even and it looks even. Okay. Now, <clears throat> these are different, more or less different heights. Okay. This one you can see is a little bit shorter and this one is shorter. So let me give you the dimensions of these just because like I said, I didn't measure really except for the first one because I knew where I wanted it to go. Um, and then I just played with it from there. So this is eight inches, okay? The top one is eight inches. The two successive ones, the second and third flap, are only, um, it looks like seven and this doesn't have to be perfectly exact, but this is seven and five sixteenths, or seven and a quarter, seven and three eighths, you know, a little bit either way, a sixteenth of an inch either way. Like I said, I just did it uh, by sight. And it just so happened that it came out to seven and uh, five sixteenths is what it came out to be. And the reason for that is so that you could flip them, okay? So this one is the full one. This one is also the seven and, and five sixteenths, but this lines up with this one and this one is gonna be in the middle on its own down here, okay? Just like that. And then you can see, I think you can see, there's where the, um, the pink stripe is for the flap underneath. So if I hold on to that, it'll, it, you're able to flip it, okay? So these two have to be shorter. One gets, uh, the third one gets scored at the top, and the second one, the second flap, gets scored at the bottom, okay? So we're going to go ahead, and we're going to, I hope you saw that. I, I'm, I try to get the numbers in on my screen, 
So it gives me a reference for when I'm working to try to not pull too close to me or not push it too far away. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up with the other belly band and then I'm going to line it up at the bottom. Let me try to pull it up a little bit. I'm lining it up across the bottom and lining this up. Okay. Like so. And that's going to make our belly band. And you can see it's got a little a little heft to it, but so does this, okay? Now what I'm going to do, if I can find what I did with them, with these unreasonable little things that get stuck to themselves, hang on one second. Yeah, once you take these Velcro dots out of the uh, package, they go haywire. They just go crazy. So I am going to, let me get this, I'm going to just go ahead and cut one in half. I know you can't see me, um, but I'm just cutting them right on the plastic. I'm going to cut one in half, and I'm just going to go ahead and put it, whoops, not like that. <laughs> should do this with my tweezers, honestly, because again, my fingers are chubby and they get in the way of what I'm trying to see. So I'm just gonna put it, not exactly at the edge, but close to the edge, okay? And then where's the one I cut here? Here it is. All right, I'm gonna take that off. Whoops. I'm gonna put that right on top of that one. Okay, and that's the sticky side up. And then, oh dear, I put it in the wrong place. Hang on, guys. Whoops. I think I'm going to have Velcro on my pants now. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be on this one. It's supposed to be. I'm sticking. <laughs> my sweater's sticking to it. I'm sorry. It was supposed to be on this one. A little over. Okay. I still think there's enough goopy on there to hold it. Okay, and then turn this one around and I put that one on top as best as I can. Make it hold. If I can get it off my fingers. Okay, I've got the wrong one here. That's why it won't hold. <laughs> like I said, might be amazing that I can even drive a car and I can't figure this stuff out. Okay, I'm trying to let it go. Oh, Lord. Okay, here we go. I think. All right. Then we're just going to flip this down and then we'll press it. And then it should go ahead and let go. Okay. I just don't want to yank it off before it has the time to, to really set. So that's what we have. Let me get rid of these crazy things. I've got some static going on here. It's picking up my, my little bits. Let's check our time. Okay. All right. So I still, oh, here it is. <laughs> I was going to say, I still haven't found that piece of Velcro. So this is then our belly band. Okay. So we have these two pockets and we have these cards in here then it just lifts up here and this may go off screen so let me see so this lifts up and you have journaling space here this is our second one and this unties and opens up and then you have another uh, little journaling card under here okay then this one flips down okay so you have all that journaling space there and then you have the third one, okay, right here. That also is going to flip up. You've got a journaling card in here. And then what I'm going to do under here is I'm going to take, because I don't want to cover this paper, I'm going to find some of that. Just bear with me for a second. I've got this 
dry wax paper that I did. Kind of like the splotches here. So all I'm really going to do, I'm going to take my tear ruler and I'm going to try to, where are those splotches? I like those splotches. Try to get them down the center. And I'm going to just tear, I don't know if you can see it, just inside the um, edge of the belly band, okay? I do want to take the little zigzaggy top off up here. So let me get that off and it's okay if it's rough. And I am going to tear then about here. Let me try to get this straighter somewhat. It's more or less straighter. I can use that, I'm sure. Turn this one around and get it inside well, about well, not quite a quarter of an inch, I guess, and put this back down along here and tear that up. And I am going to try to ink the edges of this as best as I can. Actually, I know what I will do. I will do it. Let me just get this up and out of the way for a quick minute. And I'm going to put a pocket on the back of um, this page. There'll be two pockets on either side with, um, oh, this is not not what I wanted because this has all the goopies in it. <laughs> Everything sticks, but that's okay. We'll try to work around it. Okay. But I wanted to do the uh, dry wax paper. You could do tracing paper. You could do vellum if you wanted to. I think you can pretty much write on vellum, but I don't know if you know, you'd really want to do that. There's a little piece right there that was hanging up. All right. But I wanted to be able to see put that over there. I wanted to be able to see the flowers through here. And like I said, this is because this is copy paper. Um, it's kind of bubbling up, but it's going to get stiffer. Um, so I think this way. So I'm just going to put some three and one on this. More concerned about the edges. I like to get the middle pretty pretty well down as well because when you're writing on it, you don't want to have bubbles and things. But it can be written on. I want to get enough glue to keep it as uniform as possible. I'm hoping you can hear me. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead here and try to get that in the middle, my card. And I'll just go ahead with that. And I should have a pretty beat up paper towel here because I was wiping up ink. Okay. So you can still see that pretty pattern, but it mutes it a little bit my hair again my goodness all right so that is what we have that is our belly band okay right there like that and it shouldn't flap around because we've got a little bit of velcro down there so i'm going to put this to the side and we're going to work on the card that i want to go in here okay i got everything already cut and made um, I don't need this anymore. Um, so I embossed a base card, went over it with a little bit of the Distress Ink to kind of highlight the pattern, but it's blotchy, which is good. I backed it with another piece of card. I took the paper that was the background for the page. I made another section and I'm going to put this down, but here I'm only going to glue it here, here, and here. Okay, because this is going to be a pocket where we put paper 
and on the edge of the paper we're going to put lace sort of like those slanty pockets that I did. So you'll be able to pull that paper out. So let's go ahead with that and I'm going to use this because it's a little, a little more filling, gel-like sort of, and it will go into the, I think, into the embossing um, and fill in those gaps between the back of the card here and um, the indentations that the, um, what do you call it, makes. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to put that about there. Okay. So I'm hoping that's straight. Actually, I don't think it is. All right, that's pretty good. And then I don't mind that it's a little over to the left, some a little wider here, because again, we're gonna put a piece of paper in there that's gonna have lace on it. Just wanna press it down pretty good. Some of my glue is oozing out because I wanna make sure that glue gets down into the design, okay? then this one is gonna go on here. However, this is what we are going to do, okay? Um, this is, yes, okay. This is um, an embossed piece, and all I did to do this was I did part of the design up here near the top and then part of the design down here near the bottom, okay? Now, it's too short for this, but what I'm gonna do, because it's gonna be underneath, um, I am going to just go ahead and cut this right down the middle, and it doesn't even, I don't want those scissors, it doesn't even have to be straight, okay, just like that. And what I want to do is this is going to go up against here, but I want to glue it to this, and this I think I want to just put, I want to make it, well, it's not going on here anyway. So. Let's get that there. Okay. Try to make it as straight as I can. And I'm just going to pick it up so that I can be sure that I've got it. I'm holding on to it so tight I can't move it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to turn it this way again, guys, so that I can see. Um, it's got to go over here. I have to glue it onto this card exactly where, where it's going to be sitting because there won't be any mercy here um, once I do that. That can go up a little bit more. I hope I'm not too far off camera for you. Okay. All right. I get it where I want it and then I move it. <laughs> All right, let's try to do that right about there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in here right under the end and mark it where I think it should go. I went just underneath the edge of the picture. I got a piece of glue hanging to my finger. So you shouldn't be able to see that um, mark. Okay. Getting those threads again. And we're gonna try to make sure we get that centered as best as we can. Hopefully that is straight. So let's put this where I think I want it to go. Let me move up a little bit so you can see somewhat, I hope. All right, and then I just have to... All right, that's good, I th think. Just a little more. It's funny, every time I spin it, it, it spins back. All right, I think that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and press that down. Okay, 
Where is that paper towel? Go ahead and... And I did ink the edges of some of this, but I didn't ink a whole lot. I didn't really want it very heavy. This one seemed natural, but the rest of it I, I kind of inked pretty lightly. Okay, so now we have this one. We're going to turn this one this way now. And then we have this piece, and we're going to do that this way. Okay, so I'm going to take a clip and see I've already moved it I'm gonna take a clip and just clip this down and I've already made this move so the glue is good for helping you position it but then sometimes let me see if I can get that up a little higher to yeah because I can see that pencil mark now that I played with it a little bit. So I'm pushing it up a little higher. All right, then here, this is gonna go to the bottom here. Okay, and there's my little ruler, here we go. What I wanna try to do is see if I can get this to line up right against the ruler and right against the bottom. Now, had I not cut this too short, all of this fiddling would not have been necessary, but I did cut it too short. So now I'm just trying to um, Okay. I'm just trying to uh, almost off screen again, um, trying to make it right without having to do another one. So try not to waste it even if I've made a mistake on it. So we can do that. And now I did not glue up to that pencil line because I know that that pencil line is probably gonna show. So I'm trying to get rid of that without getting any real stuff into the glue. All right, so let's go ahead, and line this up at the bottom, and that looks pretty good to me. This way, yep, that seems to be all right. So let me go ahead and press here. My stuff is creeping in on me. Okay. So that's that. Now, before I glue this down, I'm going to do one other thing because I've decided that I want to make this um, a secret pocket and I don't want anything that I try to put in here and I think it's just going to be folded paper. I don't want it to get hung up on here. So what I'm going to do is take one of these and I'm gonna go ahead, let me move this out of the way, and I'm just gonna line the back of this card like so. Okay, try to go in on a slant. All right. Okay, and I need to cut that out first only because I won't be able to cut past the um, 